Hey guys, it's Andrew from the Vlog Pine and Prospect Home, and it is Memorial Day weekend, which means there are garage and yard sales everywhere. There are so many here right on our block, so I thought I would take you guys along and see if I find anything. this uh, crate right here. Well, Mom, talk about cool, um, garden tools. really cool. What do you think? Um, I think I can't wait. Oh, another pretty bed, Mom. Look at this. Man, if I knew what I was having, I would grab this for like because it too. Because it. Oh my goodness. I like the patina in that one. Yeah. Oh my word. Mm. Yes. It's just the headboard. Mike could build a frame for it. Yep. It's so pretty. Some. Oh, that lantern's kind of cute. It's another little minnow bucket. That would make some cool decor. Always drawn to galvanized buckets. Universal household assistant. <laughs> oh my word. Oh mom, look at this horse thing. Yep. That's pretty. Yeah. So cool. cup here. Two bucks. Wish there was a set of them. Mom, what is that? Oops. That is so... A ringer? It's, it's missing the handle. But oh. I think they... Like a mudroom area once it's finished. 
And then I got that ladder for $8. There's my cute mom. <laughs> we're so close to home. We're just gonna, my house is right there at the end of the street. So we're just gonna drop this off and keep on going. Oh, is the glass? It's not glass, it's plastic. I think you could get... There's like netting on it. That one's cool too. That's pretty, the dishes are pretty. Oh, there's stuff on the back of it. Some cute stuff. Vintage lunch pail. How cute. Um, stool, that's cute. That white chippy one, Mom? Yeah. I like that lunch pail. That'd be cute in the boys' room. I know everything we see. That'd be cute in the boys' room. It would. Mike's like, don't bring any more antiques in here. <laughs> this is a boys' bedroom. I love Ooh. this too. I might have to take yes, that. I have yeah. the whole collection. This is so cool. pretty. That's a happy guy. Wow, that is. Isn't that amazing? That iron stone. And this is interesting. It's blown. It's got, you know, the belly button. Just a, it's just a twin blanket, I think. Ooh, it's really cute. Oh, it is two dollars. I love the stripe. Very vintage. So do you not? Do you know what it is? No. Looks like it's a cutting board. Maybe that's just to hang up up on the. Yeah. All right, guys. We were garage sealing for four hours. <laughs> Oh my word, I found so much good stuff. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you. Um, I haven't told you guys this yet, but my mom and I actually have a little booth 
at a local antique store. So if none of this stuff works in my home, I can always try to resell it. So just so you guys know, because <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, what is your plan for that? What is your plan for that? But I can always try to try to turn it around and sell it. Okay, here's the first part of my haul. Look at all this goodness. So I got this cute little greenhouse situation for $3. It's this pretty heavy glass lid and I'm not sure what the plan is for it, but I just thought it was really cute. Lots of galvanized goodies. So this is interesting. It's an oil can, I think, but I just loved the wooden handle on it and it was five dollars and i just thought ah, i couldn't leave it there so i grabbed that this watering can was two dollars and i thought that one was really pretty um then over here i found some really pretty blue enamel wear and i just thought it was really charming i don't know she gave me each each piece was a dollar so uh, I just thought those were cute. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use them <laughs> or if I'm going to use them. This is was a part of an old door. It was the top of an old door and it was $2, but I thought it might be cool with hooks on it. So I think I'll use it for that, maybe in my bedroom even. And then this piece he said was a drawing board. It was $4, but I feel like it would just be a really pretty like breadboard even. Um, so then this little blanket with the ticking stripes was $2. It's a twin size uh, blanket. And I just thought that might be cute in the boys room. So this is my first haul. <laughs> and then over here, you can see the Nerf gun on the couch. <laughs> my house isn't the cleanest. I got this ladder and those two little rakes, which I already showed you. So I'm really excited about all my finds. So I hope you guys enjoyed, oh my goodness. <laughs> I found these things too. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so I had to grab this little pitcher. It was $2 and I think it might be exactly like, yes, it's an exact match. How funny is that? Um, but it's just so pretty. So I had to grab that. And then I also grabbed this little set of meters here. How adorable are these? Um, I thought they would be really cute hanging in a little collection. I'm just not sure where I'll put them, but so I got this one, that one, and that one, which I thought was so fun. So I think that's everything. Well, thank you guys so much for coming garage sailing with me. It was a lot of fun taking you along. And I know that Sometimes we think of Memorial Day as a time to get together with family and to grill and to go garage sailing, but let's not forget the most important reason um, why we celebrate Memorial Day, and that is for the men and women who have given their lives in the service of our country, and I'm just so grateful um, for the sacrifice they have made to protect my freedoms. Uh, so thank you if you watch my channel and you do serve. Thank you so much for your service. and if. Uh, you have lost someone close to you and dear to you. Uh, makes me emotional, but thank you for your service and your sacrifice. Um, of course, we will take that day to remember them. And um, just the, the great sacrifice both they and you have made. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I love taking you along with me whenever I do um, things like this. Uh, but if you are new to my channel, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>